what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? China has banned hip hop culture and actors with tattoos from appearing in their media as part of a crackdown on low taste content. There are four don'ts that can get you killed. Here they are. Absolutely do not use actors whose heart and morality are not aligned with the party and whose morality is not noble. This is the Chinese government memo to the media. Absolutely do not use actors who are tasteless, vulgar, and obscene. Number three. Absolutely do not use actors whose ideological level is low and have no class. Number four, absolutely do not use actors with stains, scandals, and problematic moral integrity. So there it is in China. You go to China, you got to have your act together. Go out there trying to rap if you want to. You try to rap, they're going to bust a cap. Wear a tat. They're going to pop you in your hat. Real talk. Some of y'all are saying, man, we need to do this in America. All this mumble rap. People wearing tattoos all over their faces. We need to do something like that in America. I think that's very dangerous, though. I mean, I understand some of this music is horrible. And the way some people are tatted up and things, you know, because once you start a line, you know, it's cool for people to have it. Arms tatted, the legs tatted, the next thing, the neck. Then at some point, people gonna start. People just always push it and push it and push it. So now you got people got tats all in their in their head and their face and the, on the tongue, everywhere. I mean, people just tatting up everything. And you know, people are doing what they want to do when it comes to that style. I mean, everybody got a different style, right? So what works for you may not work for the next person. So who is to decide what's tasteful and what isn't? What's tasteful to one person may not be tasteful to the next person. I understand that we do have to have some type of guidelines. That should be some type of some type of regulatory committee, you know, to to just get a hold of some of this of, of some of this stuff. But in America. I don't think that's going to happen because there are a lot of deviant people in high positions and they're the ones who are pushing the filth. Now, when they're talking about ban hip hop, I don't see why they would just want to ban hip hop altogether. There is some bad hip hop out there, but there is some, there's also some very, very good, insightful, conscious hip hop out there. I wouldn't want to get rid of that type of music. Some of the others, okay, but, but not that type. I think China is picking on hip hop because if you really think about it, there's inappropriate lyrics in every genre of music. They're going in on hip hop because it's the music of the youth. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that works out, but I give them props for at least trying to get a handle on it and at least trying to make people more responsible for what they're saying, what they're putting out there, what they're feeding the public, because what these uh, media outlets feed the people, it does have a major effect on how the people react, how the people behave. So I give them props for that, because I know they gotta be watching what's going on in America and going like, hell no, not over here. Good for the Chinese government for trying to strangle the problem in the womb. But if they're really serious about this cultural appropriation thing, they better go into every single hood in America and shut down every single Howie store that's owned by a Chinese person. No more talk. Yeah.